Guernsey's fertile land makes it perfect for growing fruit and vegetables. This market garden produces ingredients for a very special local eatery. Caritas Community Cafe is the brainchild of local vicar, the Reverend Richard Bellinger. I was a bit surprised when Richard didn't want to meet me at the cafe, but at the island's prison. And the plan for the morning is we're going to be doing the bargies over there. The bread here, sausages here, cakes over there. Every week, Richard runs cookery sessions with some of the prisoners. So what are we cooking here, Richard? We're cooking sausages here. This is our root veg and local blue cheese. Ooh, lovely. I've been doing this for five years and I still can't do it. But you're either a sausage maker or you're not, and yeah. I discovered I'm not a sausage maker. So, so tell me what goes on here then. Everybody seems to know what they're doing. Well, we've had this group of prisoners for quite some time. We work together as a team. And what do you hope to achieve here? Prisoners are often forgotten people. Um, naturally because they're hidden from society and often not viewed very sympathetically with society. So what we're trying to do is to work with prisoners to know they're not forgotten. And so to reveal gifts and talents in someone who feels maybe dispossessed of that is a very important mm. part of what we do. And because we run a community cafe as well, mm. it's a good place to get to know prisoners and when they come out of the prison, they come to our cafe if they want to. A lot of my friends volunteer at the cafe on the out and it keeps them positive when they might not have something to do and they go there and it takes up time and they really get something out of it. So Father, we just thank you for another day, Lord Jesus. Father God, we just pray for our families, Father God, that you keep them safe. Amen. Once the food has been prepared, it's taken to the cafe for customers to enjoy. Here we are, Stu, we brought some things in prison for you. Great, great. It smells lovely. Thank you. What's this cafe about? It's for all sorts of people, but particularly we minister to those suffering from deprivation. God came to liberate us, to give us new beginnings, new freedoms, fresh starts, and that's what we're doing here. Someone who's been given one of those fresh starts is Stu Page. Stu, what is it that brought you to Caritas? Um, well, I was, I was in the Guernsey prison. They, they called for volunteers to help for... Uh, the Caritas cooking session. Uh, for the last three months of my sentence, uh, I worked with Richard every Friday. When I came out, I had no job prospects, so I didn't know what I was going to do. I served three years, eight months of my sentence, and I spent so many years regretting what I did. What did you do? I, I, uh, I went into a chemist, at knife, uh, held them up at knife point, and then took, um, took the tablets, so I was a drug addict. I felt genuine guilt and genuine sorrow and all I wanted to do was give back and I thought how can I give back and then I thought well if I volunteer here I can start by doing that. Stu soon proved his worth and was given the full-time paid job as head chef. Everyone knows me in this island, everyone knows what I did so it's something you have to live with. One cheese and ham sandwich, thank you. Trust doesn't come easily. I've had to work hard for that. 16 months of gaining Richard's trust. Take away. I was, I was never religious. I used to go to church into prison, in prison. And then it was only last Friday, and I was at a church service, and I cried. I cried in, in that service, you know, because Jesus died for us. That's the part that really made me believe, and I think that's given me my faith. That really has. Amazing Grace is one of the first songs I learned to play on guitar. I've sung it a lot, especially in prison. And you know, uh, they say about breaking chains, and that's what means a lot to me.
really enjoyed my time in Guernsey. I hope you have too. Next week, we're in Cumbria, exploring the origins of the National Trust. But we leave you with our final hymn, Jesus shall reign where'er the sun. Songs of Praise next Sunday is at the later time of 5.15. Coming up, hold the front page off. Pointless celebrities are all journalists.